description of the broadcast. Like it as your offering. And share it with your loved ones, your friends, and uh, your not so friendly friends, your frenemies. <laughs> Tell them that Mayegun is back. <laughs> And daily, those who once uh, told you of uh, how a uh, genius or how a political genius Tifnumbu was are changing their tone within a year, sending cryptic uh, or uh, cryptic messages. Now, that's what we are sharing tonight. So tell everybody. Who told you that uh, you will cry for eight years? It seems their own tears, their cries, it's becoming like uh, disturbing now. They are those with tears. This is El Rufaya's son. He's a lawmaker from Kaduna, by the way. Nigeria will soon be moving cows on the train, I mean, by the train. I don't think the Fulanese will subscribe to that, though, but yeah. Thank you. So, Motide, sorry about the music that uh, sometimes is not really flowing that much, right? Thank you for joining me. So, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are joining us uh, tonight of this hour. It is Mayegun live. Indeed, we, like I said, we were supposed to be somehow the people who exposed Tifnumbu that should be crying. That was the promise. When they were flying their Mumu tickets, at least all of these were just like uh, about a year ago. It's not like it's forever. Now, those who promised you that you will cry for eight years, they have become more teary. If they are not shouting a being power, they will be screaming out of power sort of a syndrome. Again, those who told us that whether you like it or not, Tifnumbu will be your president, and it will be for eight years. And now changing that tone, not because of uh, you and I, it is because whatever they had in mind, the shege they had in mind, or they believed will be limited to those who, didn't, I mean, who don't like them, seems to have uh, fallen on them even more. When it comes to the political uh whatever like jazz like political uh return from their investments majority of them have uh, run at loss now these losses should be personal but unfortunately it has now become regional so the same northern nigeria that cannot be ruled by infidels the ones that told you you will cry for eight years i'm talking about some of these uh this uh, Sharia North now, okay? So one of them is this guy. He is the son of the former governor of Kaduna State. 
His name is Bashir El Rufai. However, his own brother, I think that one is called uh, Belu. Okay, it's the same guy. Anyway, uh, according to him, in let's see, you, in July 2022, he bragged. Bola Ahmed Tinubu will be the next president. And I am buying buckets to collect tears to use as fertilizer on one of my farms when the time comes. Now, the time has come. His father has become a politically, I mean, sorry, internally, internally or internal political. Uh, I'm going to, I think, what do you call the IDP for the politician? Again, internally displaced politicians, Abi. I said. So his father has become uh, an internally displaced politician in the scheme that he invested so much in as well. Unfortunately, it didn't play out well. Now, the TS is coming from this family, and he is not alone. There are many others. So, so Yesterday, when he made this post in 2022, the Ronukus, the Ronuba stats, they were under that post praising him. Yes, thank you, Jari. God bless you. Me too. I will buy this uh, GP tank. Yeah. I will collect all the tears, all the yeah, yeah, yeah. A year after that, some of them who are not really, who have not started committing suicide. Some are contemplating it. Others have turned to like, help me, help me, here and there. He ones that have courage, have come out to speak out and say, ah, this is not what they bargained for, whatever they bargained for. So yesterday, this guy came out again to say this. Nobody is too big to be elected out of office by the people. It will happen, and wallahi, nothing will happen. So forget all these intimidations flying up and down, probably talking about the intimidation of his uh, criminal father, right? Let us be patient. Even IMF and World Bank, no go save on that time. Political strategist, una. that one are for Lagos. Then it continued, it went on, it said, I didn't call names though, but due to their guilt, they already know who is being spoken about. While lie, none of you will force anyone to support this utter failure of governance, disguised as useless, dangerous, ethnocentric political strategy. This is somebody who is a, uh, not just an ethnic bigot, okay? A tribal bigot. This is somebody that if you see him face to face, if you see his face, you could see, you know, you could see the little textbook definition of a threat written all over him. His father succeeded so far based on his uh, own hatred and he's pretty much has it on the uh, for his children too hatred for other tribes hatred for other religion fanatics true true and then born to rule mentality of course but these were the people who invested in this calamity so they knew that if numbu and his gang all of them Eh? what they called political genius is utter failure of governance disguised as useless, dangerous ethnocentric political strategy. That's an admittance, yeah? Ronukus have gone bonker. Okay? They are now calling Tifnumbu to arrest his father, El Rufaya. They are now calling El Rufaya a thief, Tipnumbu's uh, Ronukus. So it is now, as usual, eh, 
Dironukus versus the Sharia North, as we speak, because it's not Yoruba versus uh, any North. Don't let anybody deceive you. There's nothing called Yoruba versus North. Ronukus, the bad idiots who hate themselves so much that they will set you for any form of a slavery, same way the Fulani Alimajiris and the Fulani terrorists and their sponsor eh, were very much behind Boko Hari's destruction of Nigeria. True, true, like to the end, Ronokus do not represent the interest of the Yoruba people. No. And their days are numbered. It's all coming together. It's all coming to an end. I, But we know that the damages they will leave behind, it might, I mean, may actually take generations for us to kind of uh, clear that. But yeah, they were under there. They were like raging. You're supposed to arrest your father. Your father is a thief. Your father is supposed to be in jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, do you try it? Everybody see. Then burn you well. Eh? You think say this one a Jonathan. Meanwhile, you know that in Nigeria there is no election though, right? But the bombs are already going off now. I hope you know. Yeah, the bombs are going off now. And more and more. Will probably go off more. But if Numbu, who is uh, who himself is like uh, you know the drug lord. If somebody is a drug lord, and you are dealing with a terrorist clan, and you both want power, and you know you have an advantage, what to do whatever you like and nothing will happen, nothing. So it's going to be the battle of the druggy versus the jihadist, who both are claiming to possibly fighting for their people. The same people hmm? that have been left at the mercy of uh, the terrorists who are hunting Nigerians, as if to say it's like a game. Just go out there, pack as many people as you want, lead them into the bush and get paid. Wait for the payday. So this is not your brother, so uh, full of whatever nonsense that some of them are cooking. We need to come together. These northern Nigeria people, they have pack a cake. We must, we must protect our tifunbu abu abu shikwe funyini. Don't join them. Oh. You should watch them destroy themselves. Do you understand? It's going to happen. Just give it time. Whether not tifunbu go destroy them, whether not them go destroy tifunbu. Don't ever get, I mean, don't ever participate in that simply because you are Yoruba or you are Fulani or Awusa. I know I can't really change your mind. Some of you have already been sort of conditioned that way. Now, in the National Assembly today, it is this similar conversation of men. Ali Undume even said, Tifnumbu has been caged. That some of his ministers no longer see him one-on-one. -on -one. Except when they all go together at the fake meeting. There are some people who are making decisions that Tifnumbu is more or less like uh, demented. Put it that way, demented. And that is why you'll be seeing a lot of decisions that they will announce in the morning. By afternoon, they will withdraw, they will withdraw it. Because there is no real coordination. People are just doing what they think. They kind of feel like it's right. And most of this, their right stuff is on how to enrich, personally enrich themselves. So Undume and others, they were talking about the food crisis, but they can't access the Fnumbu. Undume is the chief whip of the Nigerian Senate. Akpabiole is the oppressive idiot, which means Undume is part of their leadership. But somehow, somehow, Let's say everybody, you are all on your own. Let's go to that Senate and hear them out. The first one, Undume. In addition to what he said, Mr. President, this is an institution that oversights, regulates, and makes laws. If in court of, uh, has issued an order and 
the individuals or, or, or group or institution concerned refuse the voice likely to face very very serious food crisis <laughs> currently there are four countries including sudan and some others that are facing very serious food insecurity and nigeria is added to this list this year by international rescue committee as one of the hotspots for food insecurity action against hunger world food program foa also indicated that over 32 million people are expected to face critical hunger crisis and emerging level between june and august and i don't know about some other colleagues but there in the north or here in the north we have started seeing it visibly people are hungry very very hungry many cannot go to their farms all of us know this in the north central the northeast and the northwest even in southeast we still have crisis among the farmers and the headsmen even in southwest we still have this crisis as it is now a bag of rice is selling at about 100,000. A bag of maize, the same thing. Even prices of tomatoes, onions, and other basic food is high. Distinguished colleagues, as representatives of the people, we need to do something. Nigerians are very patient people and very enduring people. But no people can be as that much patient under hunger. No can they be that enduring under hunger. And as much as we are all aware of the issues that inform today the situation of food production in Nigeria, we should as well I commend the government of the day for taking a very serious step, which is ex exempting all tariffs on imported food items. All food items to be imported in the country are now exempted from payment of all kinds of tariffs, taxes, and what have you. This is, this is quite commendable. And to support what the government is, uh, or the measure it has taken, and to buttress what Senator Indune said, that as representatives of the people, let me say that um, I don't see us as just representatives. We are responsive and responsible representatives. And for us to depict that by our action, or actions. We are all leaders and critical stakeholders in this country. Whatever we all need to do at our various uh, uh, um, um, senatorial districts or in our social relationships and even economic relationships, we must at all times see that we add value to the efforts put in place to reduce, if not to eliminate completely, the issue of banditry, the issue of kidnapping, the issue of, I mean, all the issues that have contributed to the low level of food production in Nigeria. Uh, so in your various uh, senatorial districts, each senator, how many, how many, uh, how many uh, bags of fertilizer per senator? One thousand huh? two hundred will be given for immediate distribution across the senatorial district. So uh, those things are moving now. The delay was as a result of. Uh,
they need to get the so we must also assist our people to produce uh, but, uh, don't worry about it if you don't have it you, you tell your constituents they've not brought your own it is not because the senate president announced it that your house will be flooded to give fertilizer uh, so but what i'm saying is uh, he, he, has, uh, he has explained that well, because of approval, uh, because of security reasons, and they needed to be sure that uh, the fertilizers would not enter into wrong hands. So, but, but it is, but they have started moving them today. And um, I'm saying in essence that we must find every means available to get to the farm. Our students likely to find new zans, so they were complaining about hunger, the money that could possibly have helped the farmers to return to the farms, they, you know, if embezzled the money. Uh, the ones they invested on the fence hasn't been able to protect the, I mean, the farmers, the villagers, the communities that are engaging in commercial farming. Now, Nigeria is facing food crisis. Their plan is to flood Nigeria in the next 150 days. Now, 150 days is practically five months. So they are planning that for the rest of this year, so they will give the contract of importing grains, food, and all of that into Nigeria. And the person they will give the contract to, they will also back it with the dollar exchange. Because you need the forex to import anything. Do you know that? Okay. So they will need to cough out all these dollars. Somebody will get the contracts. Now, that's why they are announcing to you now that, oh, there will be no tariff to bring any food in. If you are a regular importer in Nigeria, I hope you know that when they say the next 150 days, there will be waiver on food. That doesn't give you the chance, I mean, the right to decide to go and buy, buy food and bring it to Nigeria. Now, your food, they go take do, uh, what do they, what they call that? Thing? Palliative. Yeah, they will seize it and use it for palliative. But when you dig more, so you see how they are setting the stage. This is the number now. Why these ones are putting up the show? Okay, the show like, oh, our people are hungry. Okay. And even though each of us in this room take home 55 million, 60 million era every month, right? Well, it's always good for us to talk about this. Niger they are hungry. We must do something about people going back to farm. All talks. But there is one. We are on Dume. Personal, as a personal complaint of how uh, some of the people who complained about the insecurity in the area where also arrested. I mean, listen, here. In addition to what he said, Mr. President, this is an institution that oversights, regulates, and makes laws. If in court of, uh, has issued an order and the individuals or, or, or group or institution concerned refuse, the voice of the Senate or the power of the Senate should go out there before we consider the report. So I'm appealing that we should add to the voice of the court that these people should refrain from doing what they are doing against the law. If we become lawless, then they too will not even operate. So the message should go out today that, Mr. President, that they should obey the court order before we even consider the report, which is coming and the highlights of the report is known. We are representing the people. And these companies, I want to repeat, Mr. President, is not, it does not belong to them. It belongs to the people. It was never before. Then they, 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 they shared it among themselves. They didn't even pay for it. It is on record. Then why should they come and be charging people anyhow? And the court will say, don't do this, and they will ignore the court. They are Nigerians. Well, as at now, the court order is not before the Senate. So it's only an information that is before the Senate. We don't have a copy of the court order. And we must be, is it that, do you have the court order with you? Huh? Uh, because we are discussing the court order now. If the court order were before us today, we would have made consequential directives. 
but the court order is not before us. Therefore, it is important that we take the report tomorrow. But if in the course of taking the report, somebody avails the Senate of the court order, it reinforces our position, and we will make consequential directives accordingly. Is it the view of the Senate that all discussions on this matter be abated until we take the report tomorrow? Those in favor say aye. aye. New Zans, Lili. Meanwhile, that's, that should have come a second, okay? That video won't be relevant anymore. But you see that one there, Undume was raising there. Uh, it has to do with uh, the electricity companies that uh, refuse to give you meters. But they are increasing the tariffs enough that, despite not giving you the electricity per se, right? And yet the court says they should stop kind of charging you if they don't give you the meters, right? But they continue to 